Are you ready to rock? <laughs> I want to rock. Rock. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this video is now banned on YouTube for using five seconds of video. You know what, YouTube? We're not gonna take it. <laughs> Stop that progressive bullshit. This is <laughs> Democracy 2 with a cabinet. Yay! There's nothing square about this deal, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I have my American flag uh, mouse pad over here to... Uh, Right. Make me oh, think of the way, glory. Cabinet, a fucking cabinet of one. <laughs> you just like get in the office, like, oh fuck this cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I only need one person to help me with this. That's right. I suggested this a, a few days ago, but apparently it wasn't until Price Mac himself suggested it that it's stuck in SKS's teacher brain. It's because it was actually on the screen for longer than seconds. It's not my fault you were. You were playing an undisclosed game. I have really bad short-term memory during the summer. I cannot help it. It just, that's the way my mind works. When school's not in, I forget everything. Uh, as, as I made the joke for SKS a few days ago, and as I am now, I, I changed my uh, Skype picture. I'm the Viceroy of Get Fucked. <laughs> I provide SKS with no political capital, but he can't fire me. Wow. <laughs> So, so, last time you, you saved... Oh, I can fire you. I can hit the stop recording button, and I could totally terminate this screen sharing bullshit. <laughs> you, you most certainly could, but, but but think about what that would mean for the rest of your life. I have connections. Oh. That's right. The progressive Nazis are going to come after me. <laughs> the progressive Nazis. They march in line while affixing to strict authoritarian government... You know, blueprints. So let's see here. Last time you saved the country of Malaganga by drowning them in alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we could start a new game here. You fucking uh. you made them all drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show up my constituency. <laughs> oh. So Malaganga, <laughs> sir, President SKS, or whatever other names I want to give myself, is now running smoothly. My successor, Diamond Dallas Page, is taking over the country, and it is great shape right now. Self high alcohol. <laughs> da -da -da. Uh, did you uh, get any votes for uh, like any serious votes? What do you do next, or you need the viceroy of Get Fucked to roll for you? Um, the only person who's really said anything, which the series is still going while we're recording this, so... Of course. <laughs> until they get to the last, uh, video, they won't really put anything up there. Well, you did ask for, like, uh, votes and, like, participation and questions with your first failure of running Malaganga. You're like, if you guys have any contributions... The only, the only one that anybody said was do the United States, because it's messed up. Well, as, uh, two, uh middle-class white Americans live in the United States of America, we can confirm this. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that gives us, what, nine to choose from here? Well, uh, eight, because we, if you don't want to do, if you want to save the USA for last, and we've already done Malaganga, then you have eight, right? Yeah, I might as well save the United States so that I could fix it with my capitalistic American dad values. Right. I, I have a D8 here. You want me to roll one D8 for you? You just want to pick. Yeah, just roll it. Go ahead. Go with the die. All right, the Viceroy of Get Fucked has his first act of being the Viceroy of Get Fucked is to roll a 1d8. We'll go with Mexilando 1, Benananistan 2, Kuana 3, Galatopia 4, and then Biblonia 5, Fredonia 6, Ambesia 7, and Gregaria 8. 3, Kuana, Capitalist Heaven. Hooray! <laughs> Son of a bitch. The Viceroy of Get Fucked will have to... Appease his elite liberal comrades somehow. Your party name, the Conservatives. It already knew. It already, it already had it on there, didn't it? Rock and be freedom. Who do you I want to be? Advanced option sliders are going to be uh, set standard, different for each scenario. So, for example, the Socialist Party here is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I love. This is a great place to ruin. But oil supply, it's awesome. <laughs> Look at that, yeah, but car usage is up too. That's right. Yeah, we might as well stay the conservatives. But I want to run against somebody else. Who do you want to run against? Who, who's going to be our opposition? See, uh, you, you, you crushed the Jehovah party, so obviously we need a stronger force. There's no progressives on here. Unfortunately, we don't have the Bull Moose party. You, so probably, you, you can keep it the Socialist Coalition if you want, but... I suppose it sounds cooler than the Independence Party. That just sounds dumb. 
So five year election terms. Apparently. That is crazy. Okay, and a maximum uh, three terms in office. That's 15 years of our life. <laughs> 15 years of our life. But check out military spending over here. Ah, yeah, you might have, that might have to be something you increase during, during your, your time in office. Fucking terrorist, give them a dose of freedom and democracy. That's right, you sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even want to know where that come from. All right, let's click start. This is my vice Roy. Get fucked, sad boys. It's Uncle Joe Anybody. Stalin up there. Retain respect for sausages and laws. One must not watch them in the making. Congratulations on becoming the leader of your party and president of Kuwana. As you're aware, the citizens currently despise their government. Oh, we're going to die. <laughs> but I'm sure you could turn the situation around. Our country is rich and the economy is strong, with the government even running a budget surplus. All right. Our citizens are a pious and capitalist bunch, so you should not have any difficulty in winning them over with your policies. Let's see. We have some pollution, wasteful economy. Oh, excuse me, technology, backwater, rather. Contagious disease. You have your no. teacher strike. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Asthma epidemic, of course. Your teacher teacher shortage. shortage. And your homelessness. Ah, so, hmm. Hmm. So, uh, the first thing you might, I suppose you say you're going to do is just an analysis of all of your constituent percentages. Yeah, we need to go through these. Let's see, so socialists only make up 17%. And clearly they're, they, uh, they are not a fan of the tax shelters and the lack of equality currently within Kiwana. Well, there's only 17% of them, so, you know, I really could care less about socialists. However, they are increasing. You're going to have to solve that problem. We'll fix that. We'll make them drunk. <laughs> they still might be socialists regardless of whether they imbibe alcohol. All right. 17% uh, religious. That, uh, from what the opening description gave us for Kawada, I was expecting there to be more religious people here. Yeah, they're upset about gambling. Oh, there's creationism. It's, it's and already no research is really upsetting them. Yeah, well, it's only eighteen percent. They'll they'll be okay. It tends to be a hot topic for the religious folks, at least in this game. I'm totally not sure about real life. But that's not that baby's real daddy. Just saying. <laughs> And of course, you know, the parents are going to be absolutely infuriated by the asthma epidemic and the teacher shortage, as well as the strike. Parents do not care about teachers. <laughs> I'm just saying that right now. This this is another flaw in this game. <laughs> you even have a minister who is sympathetic to the parents. I, I know. Pay attention to the uh, socialist and... Uh... Raphael Williams. We'll have to get rid of him. <laughs> it's sympathetic bullshit. to parents? Get out of my cabinet. Capitalist, 54.75%. They are slowly decreasing. You have one minister who's sympathetic. Clearly, they enjoy the GDP, as well as the tax shelters, mm -hmm. and your welfare minister, and technology grants. Zachary Parker. How about that? However, they find the corporation tax to be dumb, the state health service to be dumb, property tax, and sales tax to be... Yeah, we can't have people, you know, being healthy or anything here. You know, the capitalists have the money to afford private medical services. But it's state health care, though, it just only screws them over. Trade unionists, only 20%. They're, they're not a fan of the unemployment, apparently. Well, I hope you're paying attention to all this stuff, because, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> well, does the Viceroy get fucked? You can, you can the Viceroy get fucked should keep up with all numbers. How's my drinkers? 35%! Yeah, they're slightly supportive, and they are increasing. Oh, there's an alcohol law? Well, we'll fix that. <laughs> we will definitely fix that. We will, we will fix that. Let's see, the retired, only 7%. Good. Those bastards are a drain on the economy. I hate old people. <laughs> they love state pensions. People. As Chairman Shinji Young once said, it is every citizen's final duty to go into the tanks, be recycled, become one with all the people. Interesting. As he blows up the tank. <laughs> <laughs> one out of five is self-employed in this country. That's crazy. They, uh, they are a big fan of the small business grants. 
Let's see. Smokers, 30%. What the, they what's are wrong? very supportive of you because you have two ministers who are sympathetic to their cause. They must uh, definitely be smokers then. Shannon Williams. And then that Troy Hayes. Troy Hayes is, a, is an awesome looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Commuters. 15%. Well, we won't care much about them. Apparently you have four, four ministers. Half and, of your cabinet. And that's the only thing that they care about. You know, it's like, oh, that helps us 5%. And they apparently are vastly decreasing. <laughs> no joke. You think, uh... The environmental is 50%. Oof. And naturally, the environmentalists really are not a big fan of the pollution. But they are decreasing. So if you it's because they're dying because of the air quality. Yeah. We, we, we know we, how to make environmentalists happy. Just, just fix the air problem. Yeah, that's easy. Farmers, only 16%. Like, what ifs. Yeah, nobody cares about them. But they're happy for some reason. They're just... <laughs> I think they're just, like, neutral, like, yeah, we'll give them a shot, whatever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. You have, uh, close to half of your population is, uh, Patriots. And that big issue right there, as I thought it would be, military spending. We're gonna have to make money before we can pay for that. You're actually turning a small profit right now. Yeah, but, uh, boosting that up goes very quickly. That is definitely true. You can solve that. You can just institute some import tariffs. It'll be fine. Eight <laughs> percent is wealthy, Mister Moneybags here, and they are very, very, very happy about these tax shelters. Well, they're hiding under them. And gated communities. Ooh. Oh. How about that? I live in a gated community, but the gates are broke. So does that count that I live in one or not? And I definitely uh, live next to a gated community as well. See their fucking brick wall and everything every day. <laughs> oh, uh, close to half, uh, one quarter of the population are state employees, and you can definitely increase that a lot more by adding more state jobs. But we'll make a socialist. The patriots will want to kill us. Eh, almost 20% this, this, motorist. This motorist motherfucker. Every time I see his portrait. Uh, <laughs> is it? I think it's a girl. It's not a he. It has boobs. Clearly, that is a boob. I said motorist motherfucker. I, you know. You Then you said he. Clearly he. You, you don't think that that could be a bulky hoodie? No. That is a girl. How can... Because how can she's not he, wearing the U-Fit jeans that Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> sponsors for Wrangler. <laughs> No self-respecting female would have that hairstyle, right? <laughs> In her cool Terminator 2 glasses? <laughs> As for the fucking fingerless gloves, well, everyone wears those. 26% <laughs> is poor. Well, uh, and they are quite, quite, quite upset about the homelessness. No shit. What is that number? Like, 54%! Quite, quite upset. So if you could just solve that problem, the poor would be okay with you. Can they afford to go vote, though? That's right. This will be your first time dealing with a situation where voter turnout is not compulsory. Conservatives, 24%. And they are quite happy with that police force and the gated communities and the prisons. Excellent. And the liberals... 23 23% Armed police they don't like Homelessness, Homelessness isn't going to be a problem for them as well The border controls, apparently those are Those are upset Now, they're okay with community policing here But we see what that led to here in the United States <laughs> Contemporary issues Here I just, on SKS's channel <laughs> I just wanted to bring that up Oh, and they're against racial profiling <laughs> How those go hand in hand together. Son of a bitch. Alright. Now, if only the liberal was wearing a hoodie instead of the poor guy, we'd be in a great place. Oh. Oh. 66%. Too oh, here we go. Your favorite woman right here. Oh, my God. she's Her eyes are going two separate directions. 66%. That's right. You do have a sympathetic minister, but the homelessness is an issue for them, of course, as is the property and income tax. You uh, you might have to fix that middle income problem, and of course, everyone, 
is, as always, going to be upset about the contagious disease and a little bit of the crime. I like how they put the liberal dude over here on the everyone. Notice that? <laughs> Just wanted to point that out. This game has subliminal messages. I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> and the upside down United Nations leaf or, you know, the United, or whatever, Unit Federation of Planets off Star Trek. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> All right. Good. So... And uh, you are you you are quite a bit in debt, but you're you're fine for now. And uh, you have some groups that have some membership rising. Heritage, groups. the Church of Christ is it's gaining up on me. Hmm. And your security oh. effectiveness is currently in effect. Let's see, the economy is doing well. The budget has a seven point nine, so we got about seven billion the full width. That's right, not so long as. The, the global economy continues to do well, your budget should remain strong. And of course, if you continue to take steps to increase your GDP, it will only get stronger. Hmm. So who do we have here? John Simmons? Good experience. Zachary if, Parker? What? If you haven't noticed, their experience bars will increase the longer they're in the job. Well, that's how experience works, Grimmeth. Well, you, you remarked with such surprise about the situation in a, in a prior video, so I just wanted to address this issue as the Viceroy... Well, president. some of them start... I was more surprised about how some of them start out with a lot of experience. Oh, they're, they're, all, they're all different. Oh, my goodness, look at that public services. <laughs> First, oh, oh, man. <laughs> that's, oh a, man. That's an awesome man right there. Oh, man. He, he's more awesome than a tax guy. I don't believe Oh, him. the pipe dude, but he sucks experience-wise. How, how can you have a pipe and have your sympathies be for self-employed and liberal? Come on, man. <laughs> capitalist motherfucker. Welfare. <laughs> He's just looking out for people. Leave him alone. <laughs> Alright. So, first thing we need to take care of. This teacher strike is bullshit. Well, you know. So we're obviously going to have to increase funds to schools. We have wooden school huts. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ! <laughs> You're a capitalist heaven with wooden school huts. <laughs> and this is a, this low, it's already at 4.28 billion. Oh, man, that's great. No wonder they're so pissed. Now, obviously, you're, you're going to reduce the membership of the capitalist group. Not so much how they feel about you, but you'll lower their membership. I know. Which might not be a bad thing. There's 54% of them, though. Right. I mean, uh, you're not going to make the capitalists hate you, though, by doing that. You just decrease their membership. Well, we've got to... Yeah, because if you go to school, which... You know, that's another rant for another day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to have this conversation... <laughs> We've got to go up, what, about two billion at least? We've got to get them in the textbook range. I mean, I don't know. Everything that you see here on the state schools thing is positive for you. Uh, fixing the strike, the shortage, uh, increased, you know, demographics with the poor, socialist literacy, which will help you. Poverty, decreasing that. State employees will like you more. You'll solve unemployment. You'll increase membership with state employees. And reducing membership in the capitalist, again, they won't directly hate you for that. It'll just impact their numbers. I mean, even at max, it's only like 5%, so it's not like it's going to be devastating. See. Well, so, wait, wait, I suppose what you need to check to see is exactly what impact does the strike and the shortage have on the rest of your country? Like, what are the effects of the shortage? Literacy drops, immigration... I mean, like, if, if you click on him, it obviously gives you, like, a, a greater in-depth feel. Well, yeah, but I mean... Yeah. Causes of that. Uh, immigration is causing this teacher shortage, and uh, state schools are having an impact on it. Immigration, I imagine, is causing it due to the tight borders you have. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I like tight borders. Shows off my curves. And 
I still think we we're gonna have to put funding into this though. Well, I'm not saying that we not just like. But know. we gotta figure out how much to put into it, because this this will increase. Like I said, it gets rid of the technology backwater. It should increase our GDP, all that other good stuff. Yeah, GDP affects and is affected by so much in this game, and GDP is so critically important. I mean, how's our technology uh, grants looking? Oh God, everything's so expensive here. And that is, you're living in capitalist heaven, man. <laughs> Damn it! No, in capitalism, it should be lower prices, motherfuckers. <laughs> this isn't Walmart. Laissez faire. Laissez faire. Laissez faire. You might as well just say free market, since you obviously hate French words. <laughs> it's a French word. Okay, we're gonna increase this. I'm gonna put uh, two. We'll go up to six point two. They can't have their own textbooks, man. They gotta be shared. Dude, if we go up to that, look how much. I, I see it. Ten billion. Four. Well, before we do this, where? No shit. Um. Okay, I'm not even. Yeah, I got twenty-one. Where? Where's the uh the thing where it gives you the 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 debt limit that you can hit? Well, uh, that should probably be in like the financial report area. That's your current national debt. It's not telling you what your max uh, Ma maximum debt ceiling. Seven hundred fourteen billion compared to what we had in Malaganga. Because we're dealing with more money. Because we're capitalists. Yeah. You also have to make sure you increase military spending as well. I don't even want to look at what that's on. Ceremonial only. Yep. Ceremonial only. <laughs> look at how much that's gonna cost. Explosion of money. It's like, oh, it's okay here going to reservist. Then then it's like, oh my god. <laughs> The, the Patriots will still hate you, no matter what, unless you have that thing capped out. No joke. Biometric chicks. Oh, the liberals hate me. And the terrorists. Oh well. They'll get over it. Um, I I don't think we... I don't know. That, that's a lot. That's six billion. It's going to put us in the hole. Uh... So long as you continue to, uh, well, so long as you take steps to increase the, the strength of the economy, and by improving the GDP, you'll improve your relations with the people, like capitalists, who matter to you. We'll see. All right. Guess we're going to know this. My first act as president <laughs> is increasing now, the state now, you'll school still budget. you have one political power. I think uh, increasing community policy... A policing has like a raise cost of one, at least it does in Malaganga. If you wanted to say increase this, which is a very cheap and effective way of reducing crime. Look at that, my my vice president or my viceroy of get fucked is doing well in my cabinet. That's right. Even though I earn you no political power. That's right. <laughs> Alright, so let's roll this over. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Let's see. The, past now controls the, future. the budget has a 16.7 billion surplus each quarter. Now, you'll have to keep in mind that will decrease yeah. as the the money that you put in the state schools, the policy has to take effect. Yeah, and it said 36 so. months, so it's a long time. Good thing your term lasts for five years, right? No shit. We can get out of the country if shit goes power. And of course, a point of you, an ambassador. We've learned that nearly half of the population are patriots. So we need somebody. She's a known as a patriot who will fight tooth and claw to get our interests represented. That's our woman right there. Nancy. Oh no, not Nancy. Nancy! <laughs> Nancy. Oh, okay. Parents are still pissed off about this whole... Oops. No. See, uh... The I didn't epidemic, know that. Uh, that's probably... That's affected by... Yeah! I know, my goodness. Separate venue there. <laughs> right clicking, who would have thought? Jesus, if you use the right mouse button, a whole new world is open. <laughs> so that will slowly take off. Yeah, the teacher strike and the teacher shortage will have these slavers all themselves. You could also do your university grants right there. 
that'll take care of your technology back water situation or take steps to do that. It also doesn't consume a lot of political capital to raise that. Yeah, I have to think about it. Fine. I have a feeling we're going to have to work on the state health suit. God, that's way up there already. Not only that, but you're going to upset your primary constituents even more. There could be ways to, like, say, for example, what is contagious disease affected by? Poverty, mainly. So if you could take steps to find a way to reduce poverty, like maybe free school meals or free eye tests, you could perhaps do that without uh, making a major impact on the state. How does an eye test help poverty? They could see that they're poor better and they'll want to get out of there? <laughs> Just thinking, you know. We can free school meals. Uh-oh.